differences there. There'll be flexibility that we will have basically uh, based on the fact that they're going to be custom in some uh, manner. Also, the job cost system will typically have higher value, higher dollar values for the products as opposed to a process cost system because and that leads through the customization. If we're going to customize it, then it's, it's going to take more time and it's going to cost more as opposed to if it was all just being uh, the same thing. Our goal there is to lower costs and have it be typically cheaper. So if we contrast this to a process cost system, the idea of a process cost system is we're going to apply the costs to the process. And the reason we can do that is because all the things that we make are going to be in essence the same. So that's going to be our route again that we want to think about as opposed to something being customized here, everything, it is what it is. You get what you get. It's all going to be the same. So we don't need to apply the costs in the same way. We need to apply the costs uh, all evenly to, uh, to the units. So what we need to do then, we can do that by using a process cost system, assigning costs as they go through the process rather than to particular units of inventory, particular jobs. So in this, I would think of something like taffy. If we're making taffy uh, or, or caramel candies or something like that, they're all the same. We're not gonna vary the caramel candies. They're all the same. So we're producing our inventory. So other things like oil is going to be like that for processing oil. It's all the same at the end of the process. So um, our goal here is to make everything the same and lower cost. So um, we, we're going to have then repetitive procedures. Everything is going to be the same. And our goal here again is just to make everything the same, even mechanized if, if possible. Have the whole machine make the taffy and go through just the process of making the taffy. And once we automate the system because they're all the same, then that should be lowering the cost. We're gonna have uh, homogeneous product, products or service as opposed to heterogeneous, so they're all the same. And again, this is probably the one that here you wanna focus in on or the fact that they're not custom. So we, we don't have custom products, they're all gonna be the same in nature and therefore everything else pretty much derives from that. Uh, we're going to have high production value. That's the point of us making everything the same. We're going to say, yeah, there is no variance. You want caramels with different kind of things in them or whatnot. We don't do that. <laughs> we just make the caramels. They're all the same. And we have a pretty low cost because of that. The more we try to customize the caramels, then the more it's going to be, you know, difficult for us to automate the process. Then we're going to have more customization. So if we keep them uh, all the same, we can have high production volume and lower cost. Uh, low production flexibility, again, that follows from them all being pretty much the same and not being customized. So we're, we're, gonna ha um, we're not gonna vary what we produce. We're gonna say that these are all, um, we're all gonna produce the same thing for every, every unit is gonna be the same. So if we look at these together then, the job cost and the process cost system, remember that the job cost system has the custom order as opposed to non-custom orders or just repetitive procedures on the process cost system. So there, this, this side's gonna be custom, this kind of side is not custom. And that means that we're gonna have everything be uh, repeated. It's just, it is gonna be what it is. And then we're gonna have heterogeneous production for the, for the job cost versus the process cost, homogeneous. And again, this, this kind of falls out from the fact that these are custom and these are, are non-custom. So these are gonna be um, all uh, different products and services through that customization, these will all be the same. The job cost system, uh, low production volume, again, because they're all different in nature, and a high production volume for the process cost system, because they're all the same, we can then scale up and be able to produce a lot more. Then the job cost system, uh, high product flexibility, we can vary, that's the point. That's the point of having them be custom. On the process cost system, we have low product flex flexibility. And again, that's the, that's the point because that's what leads us to be able to uh, produce more at that time.